There are so few of us, and by us, I mean journalists, young black journalists, young black male journalists who have a national stage and a national platform like I have. And I think I certainly and many of us have a responsibility to um, continue to stay at it, continue to get the message out best we can and make sure many parts of the country don't forget um, about this message and about our young people. What is Redeem the Dream mean to you right now? You know, it's it's past due. Uh, I bet a lot of people would tell you when we think about um, so oftentimes equality and where uh, especially African Americans need to get in this country, so much of that has to do with our economic vitality. Right. So we absolutely, this is necessary. We're, sometimes we're having the wrong conversation and sometimes we can lose focus, but at the, the core of it all, we need opportunity, we need jobs, we need uh, the ability to raise that family. And I think that has the, the ability to transform transform lives and in an entire culture and a, and a situation for an entire uh, people. So I, I'm glad the focus is, is there today. And how is voting? What does voting mean to you, especially for our younger generation right now? It's everything. And it's so hard to get oftentimes the younger generation to understand right. that because ah, I just one vote. What difference does it make? Right. But it makes all the difference and elections um, have consequences. You hear that all the time, but it's hard to get that connection for a young person between this is my one vote. It made this difference. This legislature got in. Then they passed that stand your ground law. And I mean, you have to make the connection right, for right. them in that way. Um, disappointing. Some of our voter participation rates have been abysmal right. uh, over the years. Right. So uh, you got to keep keep at it and pounded it in the into folks' heads. But it's voting is everything. Right. And then being as though the the dream specifically, what would be the dream for you for the youth? Oh my goodness. Um, I think, no doubt, opportunity. Um, I, I, I've told the story before with a young man. You know, we talk so much about Chicago and Chicago right. violence and whatnot. And I did a piece there, spent all day with this young man, walking to and from school, talking about the dangers, seeing some of the dangers. Right. At the end of the day, after we packed up, we were about to leave. He said, y'all know about any job opportunities around here? Right. I mean, it broke my heart to hear him say that um, because at the end of the day, that's what it's all, all about. about. Kid, right. he just wants a chance and an opportunity. So I, I think we have to, to get the young folks in a place. I mean, we lose in half of our young men before they even get out of high school. Um, so we, we have to improve that situation. That's on us, me and right. you. But we gotta, we gotta keep up. We can't give up on them like so many people seem to have.